O God, who dost ever hallow and protect thy church, raise up therein through thy spirit good and faithful stewards of the mysteries of Christ, that by their ministry and example thy people may abide in thy favor and be guided in the way of truth through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the same spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Let us sing the Detroit. Not greedy of filthy lucre, 
holding the mystery of the faith and pure conscience, and let there also first be proved, and let these also first be proved, and let them use the office of a deacon, being found blameless. Even so must their wives be grave, not slanderers, sober, faithful in all things. Let the deacons be the husbands of one wife, ruling their children in their own house as well. For they have used the office of a deacon, for they that have used the office of a deacon well, purchased to themselves a good degree and great boldness in the faith which is in Christ Jesus. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. Let him who is to take deacon's orders come forward. Do you trust that you are inwardly moved by the Holy Ghost to take upon you this office and ministration to serve God for the promoting of His glory and the edifying of His people? I do trust so. Do you think that you are truly called according to the will of our Lord Jesus Christ and according to the canons of this church to the ministry of the same? I think so. Are you persuaded that the Holy Scriptures contain all doctrine required as necessary for eternal salvation? through faith in Jesus Christ. I am so persuaded. Will you diligently read the same unto the people assembled in the church where you shall be appointed to serve? I will. It is pertaining to the office of a deacon in the church where he shall be appointed to serve, to assist the priest in divine service, and especially when he ministered the Holy Communion, and to help him in the distribution thereof, and to read the Holy Scriptures and homilies in the church, and to instruct the youth in the catechism, in the absence of the priest to baptize infants, and to preach, if he be admitted thereto by the bishop. And furthermore, it is his office where provision is so made to search for the sick, poor, and important people of the parish, that they may be relieved with the alms of the parishioners or others. Will you do this gladly and willingly? I will so do by the help of God. Will you apply all your diligence to frame and fashion your own life and the life of your family according to the doctrine of Christ and to make both yourself and them as much as in your life hold some example of the flock of Christ? I will so do, the Lord be my helper. Will you, reverently obey your bishop and the other chief ministers who according to the canons of the church may have the charge and government over you? following with a glad mind and will their godly admonitions. I will so endeavor to do, the Lord be my helper. Almighty God, whose providence hath brought you to this hour, keep you steadfast by His grace in these your promises through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray to Almighty God, dearly beloved, that it may please him to accept this, uh, these servants now called to the order of deacons in his church and to pour upon them the grace of heavenly benediction. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy great goodness dost send forth laborers into thy harvest and has vouchsafed to call these thy servants to the office of deacon in thy church. Well done, we beseech thee with the Holy Ghost that enabled by the gifts of his grace they may be faithful to his promises and ever steadfast in the service of thy Son Jesus Christ, to whom with thee, the same Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. After the manner of the apostles, from whose apostolic succession we derive authority from, we are going to lay hands on the deacons to ordain them to this ministry. Please pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit for both of them.
like put their hand, hands on their shoulders. Mm. Bishop, please. Take down the authority to execute the office of the deacon in the Church of God committed unto thee in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Take thou the authority to execute the office of a deacon in the Church of God committed unto thee in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Take down the stole of immortality in the name of the Holy Trinity. Fulfill thy ministry, for God by his power is well to increase in his grace in thee. Holy with the rain. God, world without them. Take thou the stole of immortality in the name of the Holy Trinity. Fulfill thy ministry for God by his power is well able to increase his grace in thee who liveth and reign forever. Amen. Amen. Let's speak to the God. Take thou the authority to read the gospel in the church of God and to preach the same, if thou be there to license by the bishop himself. Thanks be to God. Take thou authority to read the gospel in the church of God and to preach the same, if thou be there to license by the bishop himself. Thanks be to God. Gradually, please. Oh. 
stand. The Holy Gospel is written in the 12th chapter of St. Luke, beginning at the 35th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. be girded about, and your lights burning, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself, and make them to sit down to meet, and will come forth and serve them. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. Here endeth the gospel. This is another server ceremony we have today. You can be seated, please. It's a very important day also. We are receiving Father Don Harley into our diocese and of the Holy Trinity in Great Plains and into the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. And uh, it's a very special day today. <coughs> Father Don, together with the, his uh, uh, mission uh, congregation, who are also going to be received shortly uh, into our church. Uh, together they will be beginning St. Paul, the Apostle, Holy Catholic Church, Anglican Rite in Branson, Missouri. And I want to thank you for taking your time to come here especially. It's so very important and very nice and uh, to have you. And therefore, we have a procedure for everything. And so please don't mind, bear with us. Uh, we, we are very delighted to do this in the name of our Lord in receiving our brethren uh, into the uh, diocese and in the Holy Catholic 
church. So please pray for Father Don Ali and his wife Mary Ellen who is here with, the, with him and also his congregation. And uh, we are going to do that for this service. You will find a section at the back of the book. Reception of priests and reception of new members, almost. And we will go to the first service, reception of priests. Reverend Father and God, I present unto you this person present to be admitted to the exercise of the priesthood in this church. Take heed that this person whom you present unto us be apt in need for his learning and godly conversation to exercise his ministry duly to the honor of God and the edifying of his church. I have inquired concerning him and also examined him and think him so to be. Dearly beloved, the ministry which we share is none other than the sacrificial ministry of Christ who gave himself up to the death on the cross for the salvation of the world. By his glorious resurrection, he has opened to us the way of everlasting life. By the gift of the Holy Spirit, he shares with us the riches of his grace. We are called to proclaim his death and resurrection, to administer the sacraments of the new covenant, which is sealed with his blood upon the cross, and to serve and care for his people in the power of his spirit. Father, do you therefore, in the presence of Christ and his church, here, renew your solemn commitment to your ministry under the pastoral direction of your bishop? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise to give yourself to prayer and to study? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise so to minister the word of God and his holy sacraments that the reconciling love of Christ may be known and received? I do. Do you renew and reaffirm your promise to be a faithful servant to all those committed to your cure and charge, framing your life in accordance with the teachings of Christ, so that you may be a wholesome example to his people. I do. Will you be loyal to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of Christ, as this church has received the same? I do solemnly declare that I, Don Tolly, do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testament to be the Word of God, and to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Anglican Catholic Church. And further, I, Don Holly, do willingly subscribe to and declare that I assent to and will obey and abide by the Constitution and canons which have been or shall be from time to time passed by the Holy Synod or the Provincial Synod or the Synod of the Diocese of Holy Trinity and Great Plains. Will you reverently obey your bishop and such are the ministers who according to the canons of this church may have charge and government over you and your work? I am ready and willing so to do, the Lord being my helper. And I, Don Holly, do swear that I will pay true canonical obedience to the bishop of the Diocese of Holy Trinity in Great Plains and his successors in all legal and honest commands. So help me God. Peace be to you. Abide God, who hath given you this will to do all these things, grant also unto you the strength and the power to perform the same, that he may accomplish his work which he hath begun in you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I receive and admit you. into the exercise of the sacred priesthood in this church, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with thy spirit.
Reverend Father and God, I present unto you these persons who desire to be received under the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. Dearly beloved, it is fitting that before we admit you to the communion of the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite, we should receive full assurance that you understand what is required of you for this purpose, and that your declaration may the more confirm you in your good resolutions. You shall answer plainly to these questions which we, in the name of God and of His Church, do not propose to you. Do you declare that you have been baptized into Christ's Holy Church with water in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost? Do you? Have you received confirmation in the Holy Catholic Church? Amen. Do you desire to be received in the communion of this Church as into a true part of Christ's one? Holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church. I do you so desire. Do you accept the articles of faith as contained in the Apostles' Nicene and Athanasian creeds as a sufficient statement of this faith as set forth therein? I do accept and believe that. Will you use the Book of Common Prayer and as a loyal member of this Church faithfully accept and conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Holy Catholic Church? I do know why that. Almighty God, who has given you a love of truth and a will to do all these things, grant unto you also the strength and the power to perform the same, that he may accomplish his work, which he hath given in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We, Leo Joseph Michael, Bishop of this Diocese, and by virtue of our office in the Church of God, do upon this your solemn profession and earnest request receive you into the communion of the Holy Catholic Church and Jesus Christ in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Friends, seeing you that you have by the grace of God proceeded thus far, I must put you in mind that you take care to preserve in that good way into which you have entered. And for your establishment and furtherance therein, that you regularly receive the Holy Sacrament of the Body and Blood of Christ, and may God's Holy Spirit be ever with you. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord with His favor look mercifully upon you, and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace, now and forevermore. Amen. We have our chancellor behind. Uh, we have the president of the bishops' council. We have uh, Bishop Jairaj, uh, who is also representing the culture bishops of the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. And we have the council of advice, uh, the council uh, commission for our ministry, and also the members of the council of advice also in our midst. And so we together we will certainly you know grow in the love of God and and continue to be a witness uh, to his great love and mercy and uh, through the Holy Catholic Church Anglican Rite. God bless you. Thank you for taking your time to come. And for those of uh, us who are, uh, it's a Sunday Mass, and for those of us who are seeing the service being uh, extended, it's a wonderful thing. It's
a day of blessing and also so the nature says so um, that it is a charge of blessing coming from the good Lord and so we accept that and thank the Lord for all the blessings and I also want to take this occasion to thank the choir who is doing so wonderfully well at the back and we are very delighted that uh, you are helping the liturgy so much. God bless you, the choir and the organist and all those who are uh, uh, responsible. Also may I take, I will not be interrupting the service after that, we will not be uh, announcing any more. Uh, following this uh, service we have a park club. Uh, everybody is welcome, please there is plenty of food, please join in the fellowship. And then Bishop McNeely will be coming this uh, afternoon from Fort Scott, he has to complete a mass there and then he is on his way and he will also be coming to greet us all. So it's uh, wonderful that we have uh, uh, three bishops among us this afternoon. So we are very thankful to the Lord and uh, for all the blessings that we have been receiving. And, and I want to thank the parish uh, and members of St. James for your hospitality and kindness uh, extended today. And thank you for all the hard work you have done. And uh, may we continue to uh, grow, as I said, in the love of Christ, that we may continue to um, bear witness to His uh, uh, love and grace in our lives. And we are going back to the order of service from now, and we will go to the Eucharist uninterrupted, um, off Tory and the